Hello everyone and welcome to a somewhat special video. Well, I guess in one corner we have RPG Maker 3 and in the other one we have RPG Maker VX. So yeah, this is going to be a comparison video or comparison. Well, yeah. Somewhat review, somewhat comparison video, yeah. That makes some sense. So, oh, let's load this up and see how we start this. So, um, okay, of course we need to go to edit, cause yeah, there is where you make the game. So yeah, the main reason that I'm doing this because, yeah, I guess I will explain while, well, when I will be there, so first off, let's show off some of the field editor um, options here, so let's just, oh, I wanted to, uh, system, exit, yes, I wanted to load a random map, let's go with 7, because 7 is a lucky number, so, um, field preview, yeah, as you can see there are l red lines around this field, so, there's pretty much a limit how much how big your field can be, but it's even more limited with these red lines. Well, these red lines you cannot really see on the world map, except when you go there. And yeah, when you go there, it is basically a invisible wall thing. So I think they are this way. So yeah, it just doesn't let you go that way. I think in the game you get a message that um, you cannot go there or something like that, so... Or maybe just an arrow that points an axe there in front of you that you cannot go there or something like that. But yeah, that is basically the biggest um, letdown of the field options. And well, other than that, it looks pretty cool, you know. Nothing, you know, too special, but still looks as a pretty good game, you know, that y you made, or you can make. So let's exit this. Um, of course RPG Maker 3 is for the PlayStation 2, it's a lot, well not a lot older, but somewhat older than the one for the PC, the RPG Maker VX, but still. <laughs> um, dirt. Well yeah, this is the stuff where the monsters appear, you can basically customize your um, world map or field, whatever you want to call it, as much as you like. But you cannot really create a huge world map as you would be able in RPG Maker VX, so that's a big difference. Okay, let's go to a town option here, so let's go just into Loke, cause why not? So, yeah, um, there should be a city preview, yeah, you can basically change that if it's allowed or not allowed to go in there and, you know, later on in the game you can change that, that, you know, if some plot happens and then you can just go in without any trouble, so, yeah, pretty basic stuff again, nothing too special as you can see. Um, yeah, for the uh, good part, there are no invisible walls here, but what was the but again? Yeah, there is pretty much a limited option how much, you know, stuff you can put down, so yeah, you are, again, somewhat limited, and the same goes for the dungeons, you know, even though the layout for the creation is um, somewhat different, you know, um, where is it? So yeah, you draw, you know, your path, the walls, the traps, whatever, basically you want, so yeah. And then you can go in there and, you know, or yeah, <laughs> you can even create events in there and stuff like that, so yeah, even though y you p create an event for, you know, one um, space here, if you go there, you can basically, you know, ignore it and, um, you know, just go on. It's, yeah, so one event takes up half a place, 
So if you create an invis invisible event that you step on and something happens, then you either create two or block some of the paths that, you know, that event does not repeat only once. So yeah, <laughs> it's pretty complicated, but at least that's how I did it. I don't really, I can't really think of any other um, way to fix that, but yeah, still, you know, it's kind of weird that you create an event for one space, but you know, you can kinda go around it and, you know, break the game like that on the, um, you know, just skip a cutscene like that, that's supposed to happen. Either someone joins you or skip a entire boss battle like that, but that's, that as far as, that goes as far the world creation is about, and in the layout you just put everything together, you know, on the field you put the towns, the dungeon, the and and yeah, you connect them in the order you want, you know. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to the characters and items thing again. I'm not going too much into detail here, but I'm going to point out that at least for me, however I customize these, you know, the characters and monsters, um, either the characters were overpowered or the monsters were overpowered, so the main reason that, you know, I didn't continue this game was I was trying to balance things out, but it just didn't work out, so yeah, I just gave up. <laughs> I don't know if it's me, but in RPG Waker uh, VX I didn't have any problems like that, so yeah. Maybe it's because it's this game. This isn't really designed the best way, and yeah, and that's that's how stuff goes. So yeah, another thing that bugged me. Well, not just a bit, but uh, quite a bit. That you know, um, let's select a character here. Let's say I want to add a class to her, now you can see how she looks and if I add a class, let's say an Amazon the 3D model changes if, even if you say no, I think even you, even if you cannot see it here if you would add her to your party she would look, you know, as the Amazon um, thing so like that, and yeah, basically that's somewhat a problem if you don't want your character to look like that and have that job, but that's apparently how things go, but yeah, I guess it's not really the biggest um, thing, but it can be a bit annoying, I guess, at times, at least I didn't, I didn't, I didn't find any kind of um, way to go around that so yeah that's a bit weird so again um, as far as your character com customization goes it's pretty much limited but um, yeah I don't know what to say about the skills since the same problem was about the skills that I couldn't balance them out either they made no damage or they made too much damage so yeah, um, monsters. Again, I'm. I know that I'm pretty much repeating myself here, but I guess yeah. Here at the monsters, you can create three types of different monsters, even though they work the same. Um, small, medium, and large. At the smallest, you have basically the, the um, pretty much the biggest customization as far as looks go. Um, three, dif uh, four different types of colors. Yay! <laughs> Medium, um, bigger monsters, of course. Two different um, types of color for each monster. Okay, I guess. And large monsters, they don't. They ho have only they that one color that you know you choose that monster for. Uh, choose that monster. Yeah. So let's just uh, randomly generate a medium monster here. Because why not? Let's just, you know, show off how they look. Iron Giant, yeah. Looks uh, looks interesting, I guess. Cannot really zoom out and stuff like that. So, yeah, two colors. Okay, I guess. 
um, yeah, here you can basically say what race you want it to be, how many money it drops. Let's devil, why not? Male, female, animal, okay. <laughs> um, a special ability. Oh, not it, it's how he um, fights in battle. Here are his special abilities and skills other than the abilities and skills you know you gi give to him so yeah um that's that as that is as far as the monster customization goes again the biggest problem for me was not the skills creating the skills create but you know the uh, status says you know to balance things out that you know even i am not overpowered or they are overpowered or something like that and here are the monster parties. So yeah, here you can add a bit of extra stuff here, what they drop, and again you can rise their levels and stuff. This is where I spend most of my time customizing them, but it didn't change much. So yeah. So if they were on a too low on a lower level, they didn't make any damage or they were on a higher level they make they made too much. If we were on the same level, but basically the fights were too long, which is, which is you know, <laughs> a bit weird. But they still didn't make any kind of damage to me. But I made too much damage to them, even if I raised their their, their defense. Or not really. I raised their defense, but then the fight is just longer since I make less damage to them. So balancing this game out is pretty much you know pretty much a long process but yeah I guess I showed most of the stuff off in my you know short let's play or whatever but yeah it's pretty much just just a demonstration what this um, game can do or software or whatever you want to call it well there is one more thing here a storybook thing you can basically um, create your cutscenes here and uh, yeah where the story begins and other than that I think that's it the go game over screen and the ending screen that's it basically for this oh yeah um, what was yeah this is basically where you save and the database how much space you have since you can already create 300 objects and I guess then you have to create another save file which takes up I think more than uh, I don't know how much <laughs> it takes to be honest I can't really remember but it takes this save file takes quite a lot of space on my uh, memory card so yeah as you can see um, every NPC every town every uh, cutscene every house every monster party every item every basically everything takes up one space so that 300 number isn't really big so even if you think it is but you can make a solid game here you know that's not too long but still okay-ish you know in length in and in you know overall experience and stuff like that so yeah you can even see the dungeons here whatever all the NPCs and stuff. Basically this is the last video that is going to be, you know, RPG Maker 3 related since, yeah, my biggest problem with this is the balancing thing. And yeah, I, you know, worked with, well, worked in, you know, <laughs> um, RPG Maker VX and I don't have any problems with balancing, so, but, you know, let's take a look why so let's just go here i hope that you can see this so yeah um even though you have quite some options here you can create new fields but most of your time is going to be in the database but um why not show off a random field hmm. um Let's just go into Rosaria. Why not? Come on.
yes, this is a town, and of course, you know, you can create it however you want, and since it's, you know, you create it, it there are no invisible walls that are blocking your path, you can basically um, create how, the town however you want. You want any bo you want to have borders? Okay, you want to have... Well, I, I always created borders, interesting. <laughs> um, yes, it seems like it. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. Basically that you cannot walk o on the edge of the screen and, you know, want to go anywhere else. But, yeah. It looks, you know, better than the invisible wall thing. Even though in the, the RPG Maker 3, uh, 3 th thing I still made, you know, water around, around the islands where you cannot go, but that's you know not the best way I guess but I guess it's better than nothing and yeah you click basically on stuff and you know you just drag and drop whatever you want <laughs> um yeah you can zoom in zoom out with these things here um so yeah let's just show the ba database since that's the main stuff here yeah you will spend most of your time here and yeah you can cost you have basically a bit better control with your characters here you can basically change how much they grow with each level that's a pretty good thing you have presetted options here as you can see um, basically you can even draw how, uh, how can you draw yeah just like that however you want them to grow um, of course you can cr um, select whatever sprite your character wants to look there are different times uh, different types I think there are some softwares that even allow you to create your own character if you are not really happy about the stuff that you get so yeah as far as character customization goes it's a lot better here than for colors <laughs> Um, so yeah, classes, again, um, you can select what, um, you know, weapon each class can equip, what, you know, equ and other equipment, what, it, what is each class is weak to and strong to, uh, uh, it goes for status effects and, um, elemental stuff, and you can see some physical um, stuff here as slashing, piercing, bow, whatever, you know, weapons. Each weapon does, I guess, different types of attacks. So, yeah, as far as customization goes, or the character growth in general go goes, it's a lot easier here to, you know, um, overview or whatever than in RPG Maker 3. And yeah, here you can even, you know, um, add the ability that they learn at what level they learn it, you know. Level 4 they learn Cure, or this class learns Cure, Haste, Thunder, whatever. And you can even change the command name that, that it's not magic, let's say it's, I don't know, skill or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much, uh, you know... <laughs> basic introduction to the classes so yeah skills pretty self-explanatory you just cre create a name for a skill what it does and that's it basically what it want what you want it to do so yeah here at the notes you can even add some um, scripts script you know um, commands if you want your ability to, to do something more special like overdrives or something like that since yeah with scripts you can even create games here like Mega Man and <laughs> God of War you know even though it's in 2D but it still feels like God of War and Mega Man so yeah that's that's pretty impressive and you know in RPG Maker 3 since there is n no script option you cannot do just you know, you have that battle system that the game has, and that turn-based thing, and that's it, basically. 
And this is the, you know, items segment here, nothing too special, and again, pretty much self-explanatory, so let's just move on. Weapons, again, you can create what each weapon does, who can equip it, even though we did that at the classes, so... Armor, again. Um, and the monsters, okay. So, you can, you know add any kind of picture <laughs> as an enemy here, so that's a nice plus. And even um, change the color, so that's a bigger option there. Any kind of color that you can possibly imagine <laughs> is here, you know, just because of this thing here. It's pretty cool, if you think about it, you know. And, you know, mostly in RPGs, uh, this is, I guess, what they use. They mo some monsters appear like this in the beginning of the game, and later on they appear like this and whatever. You know what I talk about, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess they look the same. The colors are different and the stats are different. You can change it here, but I guess the biggest difference is um, here that you can do a battle test thing. Um, let's just get the volume down. Volume down. I think that's even that's too loud. <laughs> um, battle test. Yeah, you can rise your levels here. Basically, what equipment you have at that boss or whatever, and fight that boss at any time, and that gives you um, basically a bigger you know, control over the bosses and stuff like that. And yeah, we have a little opening here, whatever. Is there any music? I cannot hear any music. Oh, there is no music. Maybe it's not selected or stuff like uh, or something like that. So yeah, as you can see. It's working. These are the animations, whatever. This isn't really the most important part, but this is a nice little bonus, or not just a little bonus, it is nice that to have this here, that you can battle test, or test any em enemy at any time in your game, you know, I guess that's the biggest thing that, you know, RPG Maker 3 didn't have, and I guess that's the biggest, you know, <laughs> Or the best reason why I couldn't balance the game out how I wanted to, since you know, you have always you have to go always to that area to check if the monsters are too weak or too strong, and that's not good, I guess. Um, status effects, yeah. So abnormal status and you know status test arises or boosts your effect or your attack or whatever. Pretty self-explanatory again. You can add whatever message you want to pop up, you know. And here are the animations for the attacks again. <coughs> oh, okay, that was a bit loud. Um, lots of options here. Even you, you can even change the color and um, yeah, the picture basically or whatever you want to call this, don't really know how to call this, you want to add, well it's a picture I guess, it's okay. Um, common events, I guess the ki the events that you use the most, uh, the most as save points or whatever. I guess most of these are abilities, dance, yes, megalixir, summon, oh, summon isn't finished I guess. Okay, Demi. <laughs> Okay, I guess that's that is not really working the way. It's not really helping MP, but it's clo or HP, but it's close. So <laughs> I'm happy with that. I couldn't do anything like that in RPG Maker 3. So yeah, again, more options here clearly. Oh, and yeah, this is basically what music you c choose at uh, for a battle or for, yeah, when you die, good game over screen and battle and victory team, basically both, okay. 
when you ride different types of vehicles. And yeah, that is b basically the database thing. Or, well, pretty much a big explanation. I, ge I guess I went too much into detail, but that's pretty much it. And here you can basically just change, you know, the name of the level if you want it to be, I don't know, Frank. <laughs> Frank 1, Frank 2, I don't I don't know why would you want to do that, but why not? Um new game, okay, continue. Shut down, okay. I didn't change anything here, but it's okay I guess. Um yeah. Other than that you can, you know, add your own you know pictures here. You all also have, you know, the setted enemies and whatever. Oh, and this is the other big part of it, the script part. Yeah, this is our, these are basically copied and pasted scripts, so yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> don't really want to go that much into detail, even though I couldn't even explain this in, t in this short video, but yeah. These, this is basically the advanced stuff. Well, not really advanced, just you just you just paste some text here, and then something awesome happens. Usually, you know, you can even paste a battle system that works like Legend of Zelda, and yeah, then you are super happy that you made this Legend of Zelda uh, game, and you you can add whatever music you want to add, and that's it. Oh, you can even change how loud each music or background sound you want to be heard. Is it playing it? <laughs> now it is, okay. Um, yeah. I don't really want to go um, too much into detail since there is, I think, a lot more that I forgot, but yeah, I guess the you can see the big differences and yeah, here you want run out of place until you have hard disk space, you know. So yeah, that's a nice bonus and I guess that's the biggest reason why um, RPG Maker VX is a lot more popular than RPG Maker 3 or, well, I guess any of the console versions. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I don't know, I guess if you have any more questions you can leave in the comment section below. So yeah, I don't think I will make any tutorials with RPG Maker VX since I guess there are more than enough about uh, about RPG Maker VX on YouTube. I just wanted to, you know, introduce some people to RPG Maker 3 and that's basically it, a comparison with their wa how they improved how RPG Maker VX and you know, I'm kind of hoping that there will be a console version for the PlayStation 3, but who knows, <laughs> we'll see about that, it would be interesting to see, uh, you know, a better software than this, even though I don't know how they would make a better software sin than this, since this has no li limitations, you can make basically everything here, if, you know, you have, you have uh, the time and, you know, you spend enough time to research whatever script you need for that, so that's cool. Okay, I guess I should d end this video here, and yeah, I will see you all next time.